What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Okay, uh, good morning, folks. You know who this is, and I'm about to go in on another one. Today, I'm doing a podcast where you see the picture. I'm doing one about uh, Dre and... Uh, Beats and uh, how Mac slash Apple bought it from them. and but I'm like I said I'm gonna do I done a video about this along with the other topics in one video but I want to come back to this one <coughs> excuse me because I made a post on Facebook and I'll put the post link so you guys can see I made a post saying how there was a, I'm in this one group and a lot of people were commenting that. Dr. Dre donated $35 million to USC. And I'm trying to say, you know, <coughs> excuse me, black folks just don't go to USC to play basketball and football. There's other black folks who could use that money. Well, there's people in general who could use that scholarship money. But here's what the, the part I, I can't understand. We had a lot of black people mad that Dre didn't donate that money to a HBCU a historically black college or university now the point I'm trying to make is a lot of people that cry these are the same people that won't even donate five bucks to the United Negro College Fund you know but they're quick to spend not tell you how to spend your money these are the people that are so dependent upon government that they're, it's, the, it's a welfare mentality that, you know, they've been taking care of all their lives, now someone else should take care of me. These are the people that are complaining, yet won't help fix their own neighborhood schools. You know, and I got the usual, if you, if, if, I'll, put, if I'll put the link up, and uh, you'll see where I'm talking about. You know, some people, there's, I, I'm, I'm happy that there's a lot of black people out there who are taking personal responsibility and saying, hey, that's Dr. Dre's money. Whatever Dre wants to do with his money, it's his business, and that's what I agree. You know, if he, if he didn't want to do nothing but if he wanted to just put it, put all that money on a rocket ship and blast it off into space, hey, that's his business. I'd say he was crazy, but that's his business. But the fact of the matter is, you got a lot of people with that welfare mentality that think, well, like I said, the government's been taking care of them for how long? They don't know how to stand on their own, too. And it's mostly through their own ignorance. Let's get that straight, first and foremost. It's not because they're caught up in a system. If they are caught up in a system, it's by their own design. They caught themselves up in a system. Now, people are always saying, now, nah, nah, you get a couple of them say the black was you mad at Dre because he gave his money to a white college. Like I said, USC is a public university. A white college, per se, would be like Harvard or Yale. But like I said, this is, this is what a lot of these ham and anger black power losers will try to do to you. They'll try to blow smoke up your ass, or they'll piss on your leg and say it's it's raining on you. You know, I like I said, Dr. Dre gave his money to a college where a lot of black folks go. And I'm like, when's the last time people donated? And they, when's the last time you donated for anything worthy? Look, there are some of those black people who are complaining that I know that have donated more money to the Salvation Army at Christmas time at Walmart than have gave to anything. You know, these are the same ones that want you to take care of them. You know, but then they'll say, well, he didn't, he got to invest, he got to pay back. Pay back for what? If you if you know the hip-hop music nowadays, hip-hop is clearly white-dominated. So let's go by your false logic. By that false logic, Dr. J did, has done what he did was supposed to do by your false logic. You know, that's why I say that nobody's buying, none of y'all are buying his music. Let's keep it funky. Y'all y'all are bootlegging and whatever y'all have to do to do it, you're doing it. And then they say, well, he should take care of the hood, this and that. Look at MC Hammer. He took care of the hood. He overly took care of the hood. Where do you think that got him? That got him ridiculed and mocked by a lot of you guys banging the drum that Dr. Dre should do the same thing. See, all, all these people, like a lot of people that are like, support as far as his fuckery about how he should give his money to work, the, the, the HBCUs or whatever. These are the people that don't know how to stand on their own two feet because they were never taught or they never had to. They had the government to fall back on. They had the government as a safety net. They had my taxpaying dollars to play around with. 
So they didn't have to do anything. So they, they don't know whenever we talk about, you know, it's your money, do what you want to do with it. They can't understand that. You want to why? Because they have been taken care of. And in America, we have this welfare mentality where the, the next man should decide where your money goes. You know? And the fact of the matter is the government has supported a lot of them but so much, like I said, that they're dependent upon others. You know, the government that they hate that they rely on, they want you to support their organizations now. I mean, look, look, like, like, like one gentleman said, look at the, look at the Clippers owner, the NAACP, who fights against things that Donald Sterling says, but yet they're taking money off of the dude. See, it's like it's a hypocritical. When these black folks want you to go along with the program, a lot of black people are raised up finally and waking up to see, hey, a lot of this is bullshit. You know. And, and at the same time, there are a lot of rich people who came from the HBCUs who aren't giving back. So this is not Dre's mission. It shouldn't be Dre's mission to fund the HBCUs. It should be the black folks who went to these schools because a lot of alumni give back. Maybe Dre went to USC for all you know. So then I'd be like, hey, of course, you know, he's, if he's an alumni or went there, of course Dre's going to give money to where he went. But the fact of the matter is, I don't care what he's done with his money. It's his money. He he could he could he could roll, stick he could stick dollar bills up a stripper's asses. I don't care. It ain't my money. Look, it's his money. If he wanted to burn a pile of money in the middle of like you no know, Crenshaw, I don't care. If he wanted to give all his money away to some some guy over in Australia, I don't care. If he wanted to buy a billion Maseratis and hand them out to everybody. I don't care. Not that the Maseratis are a bill, like like a couple bucks, you know what I mean? But uh, I, I'm just making a point. I don't care what he does. And you shouldn't care what he does. And you need to get off this, this welfare state mentality where, well, well, I'm black. You should support me. No, a lot of you guys don't, a lot of you guys weren't supporting him on the come up. A lot of you guys were probably hating on him in the come up. It's when they become big and famous is when you guys want to jump, jump in line and jump on a bandwagon. So at the end of the day, like this one lady said, it's his money. He owes nothing to no one. So I salute him for doing a power move like that. And real people salute that. Fake ones don't. So I'm out. Peace.